The check swing drill will help the hitter learn where the strong hitting position is and also the proper movement from launch to impact with the proper sequencing, foot, knee, hip, hands last. It will also help the hitter who has trouble with rotating hips level or a hitter who slides his hips forward. A hip slide is an example of when the foot hits the ground that the hips continue forward and slide up into this position. This hip slide causes the bat, when the hitter gets inside the ball, to lose the barrel early and the bat head comes through the hitting zone in this fashion. Let's talk about the check swing drill. We're going to choke up on the bat. The closer our hands are to the barrel of the bat, the more bat control we have. Hitters do not know where the barrel of the bat is. And the key to hitting is you've got to get the barrel of the bat in the hitting zone as quick as you can, and you have to stay there as long as you can. When we choke up on the bat, it's going to give us a sense of where the barrel is at. The hitter will choke up on the bat and get in his stance. He will have the tee in front of him or slightly out in front of him with the ball kind of middle in on this drill. The hitter will weight transfer back and trigger stride and get into that strong hitting position. Once the stride foot hits the ground, the hitter should be in that strong hitting position. All the hitter wants to think about is starting from the ground up, which means the back heel lifts, the back knee goes, and the hands stay, and he's going to try to go forward and down to the point of contact to the power position. And all we're trying to feel is the movement to impact this way. Again, choked up, weight transfer back, however they do it in trigger stride, so you're doing this out of an early stride separation, and then you're going to start from the ground up, you're going to go forward and down, and try to stop right at the point of contact. If you do this drill about 80%, 90%, you're not going to be able to stop, and plus you can hurt yourself. If you want to do this about 60%, 70%, just working on the movement from launch to impact, and getting to the power position. An example of this drill would be this. Where can it be done? The check swing drill can be done off the tee, and it can be done off soft toss. The key point here is, though, when you're working on the tee and you're working on soft toss, that the location of the ball and the flip is essential. We talked about body posture, and body posture means when the stride foot hits the ground, the body's posture is set. We have two level eyes at the pitcher. The next move cannot go in this position. The check swing drill will help the hitter keep the proper body posture. So that, that being said, we need to make sure that the tee is even, slightly out in front of our stride foot. We want it elevated a little bit. We want it in a little bit. If the pitch is away from us, we're going to end up leaning on the ball naturally like this and it'll defeat the purpose of the check swing drill. So make sure the tee placement is set. Some of the things that will go wrong, a hitter will guide themselves through this. They'll get to their hitting position and the next move, they won't start from the ground up, they'll start hands first and they'll check swing like this. And when you notice that, you'll see the ball have some type of fade on it. Another thing that will go wrong is the hitter is their posture will lean over. Once they land, their next movement from this position will go this way. We want it to stay tall throughout this process.